Welcome to the DNA Pattern Brush Tutorial for Adobe Illustrator. Let's jump right into the Biological Diagram Template file and zoom in to these pattern brushes, in particular these DNA pattern brushes that I already have here formatted for you. And what you'll notice is that there are six templated DNA strands and these are essentially just patterns of segments shown on the left that have been created using this brush, pattern brush tool, so that these now function almost entirely like a stroke. So if I want to adjust the size of this, I can just use my V selection tool and resize this. If I want to change individual vector points, I can select the direct selection tool, which has the shortcut A, and I can click on individual vector points to change their location and their curves. And it's just, this is the power of using these templates. They're very versatile. But one thing I wanna point out is that I can't adjust the color of this brush, of this brush pattern brush, because it's no longer connected to the color tools in the same way as a stroke. If I were wanted to change this color scheme, let's say I wanted to make this instead of gray, or any of these blue options, I wanted to make it a green option, I might just copy, paste this green template, zoom in, and take this original grouped segment, ungroup it, and I can select the dark gray, make it a green color, select this light gray, make it a lighter green color, and then I can Hold shift while selecting these gray nucleotide representation bars, and I can make those a dark green. So this can be a nice green DNA strand. Now let's say I wanted to make this into a pattern brush. I can then just hold and select this whole segment, go up to the pattern brush in the brush definition toolbar, click on this little down arrow, and get press new brush. So this little plus symbol on the bottom of the menu to then create a pattern brush and click okay. And the two other things you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna possibly name this my green DNA. And I'm going to want to have these turns be auto in between. So that's just deciding how this is gonna work when there's a curve. So I want that to be auto in between and that to be auto in between. That's usually best for the DNA. Some of these other uh, types of overlaps work better for other types of patterns, but for DNA, I like auto in between. And then we click OK. So this is now a brand new brush, pattern brush. And let's say I wanted to, instead of having this pattern, I want to apply go all the way down my new green DNA brush. And there it is. And let's say I wanted to create a straight line. So let's just say I create a stroke. That's just this black stroke. And let's say I want this length to be a DNA brush. I can go up to my brush menu, select my green DNA, and adjust things like the stroke weight. Let's say I don't want to be that larger segments, I want a bunch of smaller segments, and I reduce the weight to add more segments for the length I have here. So this is a very versatile tool, and now I want to show you even more customization op options. So if you haven't already downloaded this pattern brush template, go ahead and go to this tutorial page and download this pattern brush template with the grid, and what you'll see is that this is a file that is already set up to create your own segments. So this grid line has one every centimeter is a new grid. So each of these squares is one centimeter by one centimeter. You can change these grid line settings by going to view, perspective grid, and define grid, where here I have a grid line, you know, every two centimeters, every five centimeters, whatever makes sense for you. But this, this template is set up to be best formatted for scientific publications. And I also have the snap to grid option on in my menu. And with these assets in this file, this now lets me to very easily create these segments that perfectly align 
edge to edge when you make a pattern brush. So if I copy and paste this segment, and you can see as I move it, because Snap to Grid is on, it's perfectly snapping to these corners. If I align this side by side, it perfectly snaps together. And same with this one, if I copy and I paste, these perfectly align. So this is how you can create segments of any style using any thing you, any illustration design that you want is to make sure that as long as these snap together perfectly pixel to pixel, you can make a pattern brush out of anything. But the reason why I wanna show you this for the DNA tools is that you can also add all sorts of other customization and use this in sort of creative ways. So I'll do a couple examples. Let's say for this DNA, I want to have some methylation on only some segments of the pattern brush. I can take my shapes tool, I can make a rectangle. Now this is where you wanna be careful. Uh, when you have this on, you are going to want to make sure that the view perspective grid, perspective hide grid, you don't want the, the perspective angle to be on, you just want to be able to do your own designs. And if you are gonna add some designs that you don't want to snap to grid, you can always turn this off and on. For example, if I turn it off, I now have the freedom to size this shape however I want. But I'm gonna add the shape, I'm going to make this a methylation. Let's make it a red methylation marker. And let's go ahead and put a little stop sign at the top of this. So if I insert the shape polygon, click and drag, I can add that here. I can align the shapes, I can group them, and I can just have this placed somewhere that makes sense to me for a methylation on this DNA pattern brush. Now if I zoom out, I may want to have this now be represented as a pattern brush where not every single segment, but every other segment shows this DNA methylation. So if I take this and I, while everything's selected, go to my arrow, new brush, pattern brush, you can see that this creates a brand new brush. You can say DNA with methylation. And you can then change these corners to auto in between, auto in between. And okay. Now let's say I make a curved DNA line. I make sure it's a stroke. I make sure it's a little more fun design than that. If I want this line to be perfectly symmetrical, this is another great way to use the grid. I will say if I turn snap to grid back on, if I now want this to be a perfectly symmetrical curve line, I can use these guides to snap, 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 make every single point on my grid be more symmetrical. So symmetry is often a great way to make your figures look more professional. And I'm just using my op Shift C anchor point editing tool here to click and drag and get this to be a perfectly symmetrically curved stroke that then I can apply my methylation group and adjust the weight of this so that the methylation looks more normal. So already this looks pretty cool, right? This is, this is a line I can draw in a lot of different ways. I can use V and adjust all sorts of the sizing and location of this, but you can use unique patterns and it doesn't always have to be perfectly symmetrical on either side. So you can be a little creative. And that's it for this tutorial. So thank you for joining me to learn more about using DNA pattern brush tools and check out the additional tutorials on the course main page to keep building your illustration skills.